In this video, we'll be looking at x to the n minus y to the n. The first thing we're going to do is look at the formula for how to factor x to the n minus y to the n. The first thing we always do is have a factor of x minus y. And the second parentheses, we're going to have exponents of x and y. First, we're going to start with x. The exponent of x starts at n minus 1 and goes down every term. So it starts at n minus 1, goes to n minus 2, goes all the way down to 0, while the exponent of y starts at 0, goes up to 1, 2, and then n minus 1. So let's look at an example. If I have x cubed minus y cubed, the first thing I'm going to do is have an x minus y factor, and then I'm going to start with x to the n minus 1 which in this case is x squared. y will be will have a zero exponent, so it'll be x squared plus, now x squared goes down to x, and then y goes up to exponent of one, so it'll be xy plus, now x goes to zero exponent, and y goes to two exponent, so it'll be y squared. So the whole thing is x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. If we look at x to the fourth minus y to the fourth, we're still gonna have a factor of x minus y, but now we always start with n minus one in the second parentheses, so that would just be x cubed. And notice how the exponents of x are going down from three, two, one, and then zero, while the exponents of y start at 0, go up to 1, 2, and 3. If we continue this with x to the 5th minus y to the 5th, we're still going to have the x minus y factor in front, and then x will start at exponent 4. So it'll be x to the 4th, and then x cubed, x squared, x, and then nothing, while y will be nothing, y, y squared, y cubed, and y to the fourth. So we combine that, and that is how it's factored. If we continue this with x to the 10 minus y to the 10th, we're gonna have an x minus y factor in the front, and then we're gonna start with x to the 9th, and work our way down to x to the zero, and y starts at y to the zero, and ends up at y to the 9th. So the second fraction, or the second factor, will be x to the ninth plus x to the eighth times y plus x to the seventh times y squared plus x to the sixth times y cubed plus x to the fifth times y to the fourth plus x to the fourth times y to the fifth plus x cubed times y to the sixth plus x squared times y to the seventh plus x times y to the eighth plus y to the ninth. Next we'll be looking at one minus x to the n over one minus x. So there's a really cool way to simplify this. So first we're gonna consider when n equals one. So we'll have one minus x over one minus x. That's just gonna be one. Now we'll consider n equals two. That's gonna be one minus x squared over one minus x. That cancels and, get, and we get one plus x. Next we'll look at one minus x cubed over one minus x. We know that's gonna cancel, the one minus x factor is gonna cancel, and we're gonna be left with one plus x plus x squared. And if we look at one minus x to the fourth over one minus x, by now we notice the pattern, it should be one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. So we always start with one and end up at x to the n minus one. So if we're looking at one minus x to the n over one minus x, we're gonna start at one, and we're gonna end up at x to the n minus one. Now another way to look at this is to use the formula we, that we used in the beginning. So if we use this formula, I can actually simplify what x to the n minus y to the n is. Well, I'm gonna plug in x equals one, and I'm gonna plug in y equals x in the same formula. Next, 
I'm going to divide both sides by 1 minus x. At this point, I see that I have 1 to the power of n, 1 to the power of n minus 1, n minus 2, etc. 1 to any power is just going to be 1. So I can make that um, replacement. And what I end up with is 1 minus x to the n over 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared all the way up to x to the n minus 1, which is exactly what I got on the left column.